Last week, we learned that Josiah became king when he was just eight years old. Even though his dad, Amon, and his grandfather, Manasseh, were evil kings and did not follow after the one true God, Josiah followed the ways of the Lord. When Josiah was older, about 26 years old, he gave an order to fix God's temple, his house, that the other kings had destroyed. The men had to tear some things down and rebuild other things. And during this process, Hilkiah, one of the religious leaders, made an amazing discovery. I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord, he exclaimed. The book of the law is the name for the first five books in the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. It was written on scrolls, which were large sheets of paper rolled up. They had found a treasure. One of the things God taught in those books was how people should live. It was exciting for Hilkiah to find these important books. Because the other kings did not care about God's word, no one read it, not even the priests who were supposed to lead God's people in worshiping him. Over time, God's laws were completely forgotten. No one knew about how God wanted them to live. But King Josiah wanted to follow God. God knew this and led Hilkiah to find his word. God is so clever. He really is in control of every situation. When King Josiah read God's word, he realized they had been living their own way against God. Back in those days, if someone was very upset or sad, he would like tear his clothes to show others how he felt. That's exactly what Josiah did. Once he heard about how everyone was disobeying God, King Josiah tore his clothes in great sadness. Josiah knew they needed to change and be sorry for how they had been living. Josiah was willing to change his ways and obey God. Reading God's word helped him to know what God wanted to change about his life or in his life. You know, someone else could have been like, hey, it's not my fault. I didn't know how to live God's way. I blame my dad and my grandfather. How was I supposed to know how to live properly if we just found the book of the law? It was lost. But, you know, Josiah didn't respond this way. He didn't blame anyone. He responded in humility. God's word has the power to change you too. By spending time with God and reading his word, you will know how God wants you to live because God knows the best way to live. The Bible tells you how to be more like Jesus and how the change happens. Instead of spending too much time watching TV or playing video games or doing other things, take just 10 minutes of your day to read the Bible. King Josiah sent out an announcement for all the people in Jerusalem to meet at God's house. Everyone from the most important person in the kingdom to even the littlest child came to hear God's word. Josiah stood in front of them and read out loud the whole book of the law they had found. He promised to keep God's laws and obey everything found in God's word. For the first time ever, the people were hearing the truth about who God is and how they needed to live their lives. The people also promised to follow God's ways with their whole life. To show they were serious about their promise, the people burned all their false idols. They would only worship the one true God from now on. Hearing and obeying God's word had changed their lives. Now, what about you? Do you want a better life, an eternal life? Spend time with God and read his word. God's word can change your life.